Alright y'all, I am in Sam's looking a hot mess today. I just threw on a quick sweatsuit to run in here and try to find this coffee maker. We saw it about two or three weeks ago and I told babe, okay, this is what I'm going to tell my mom to get us for Christmas. And that is what I did. And she went ahead and transferred the money to my account. So hopefully they still have the coffee maker. It is by the brand Ninja. Here it is. They got it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. So here is the Ninja coffee maker. Oh my God. When I saw it, I was in heaven. Now it doesn't look like it brews like a whole bunch, which is completely fine. You know, it's just me and babe. And if we need more than this, then we'll just brew a second. Carafe, look at all the stuff it does, okay? It brews six sizes. It brews four styles of coffee. Oh my God. I am stoked. Let's get it so we can go. This is all I came for y'all. This right here. My mom actually gave us enough for about two of those coffee makers. So what I'm gonna do is go and look at the blenders cause I know Babe has been wanting a blender as well. And we also saw one by Ninja. So I think I'm gonna just buy this one too. Let me show you guys what this one comes with. You know, the Ninja blender. And then it also comes with, looks like a blending cup as well as a to-go cup. And you can make smoothies, crush ice, you can do a juice extraction. So just all kinds of stuff can be done with this blender. We haven't had a blender in such a long time. And then the one we did have, it wasn't that good, but I feel like this Ninja one is gonna be really good quality. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one up. All right, y'all, we have both of the Ninja products, both at 99 each, which I feel like is a really good deal. We are not gonna open these and use these until we move, unfortunately. I just want to go ahead and have them so when we do move, this is not something that we'll have to get. Y'all got the package. It is from my girl Nicole over at Pretty Pieces. Hello guys, it is another morning. Good morning. I just got up, I haven't even like brushed my teeth, nothing, did my hair, just nothing, okay? But I wanted to get up, pick up the camera because I wanna get into the habit of doing that. I'm up this morning, I'm getting ready to put a rinse in my hair. I picked up the color Ruby Red by the brand Kiss and I don't think I've used this color before but I hope it is not like too dark red, just doesn't, mess my color up you know what i mean so i'm getting ready to put this in this morning and then i will check back in with you guys all right y'all so i have changed into my hair dyeing clothes i'm about to use my makeup white removers and wipe my face off and then i am going to brush my teeth and then get started with um dyeing my hair i am so tired this morning but i got a lot of rest last night and i don't i don't understand why i'm tired but as soon as I get this dye in my hair, I'm going to make a cup of coffee and I cannot wait. I just didn't want to make the coffee and um, still got to put the dye in and my coffee ends up being cold. So I'm like, I'll just brew my coffee right after I get this dye in my hair, baby. All right, y'all, I'm back. My hair has been touched up. The color that I used was just a semi-permanent, so it was just a rinse. I put it on. It is a little bit darker than I would have wanted it, but it'll fade in a few days, so it'll be all right. So right now, I'm getting ready to use this Dr. Miracles Fill It Formula Cleanse and Conditioning Deep Conditioner. So I'm going to put this all over my hair, put a processing cap on, and I'll probably leave this in, y'all, for about 30 minutes to an hour. It's brown. Oh my 
like a tan color. Oh. It smells minty. I can smell some type of mint in this. It smells really good. You know when those conditioners have that minty smell in them and it just opens up your sinuses and passageways? That's what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> the rest of it out of the pack, girl. I gotta get it all, okay? Let's get all of it. Next, I'm gonna take my detangling brush and just brush through just to make sure the product is on all of my strands and also detangling at the same time. I love detangling while conditioner is in my hair. It just slips so good. See that? Oh yeah. Oh, the lighting is so much better from this way. Why y'all ain't tell me that? That slip. Come a little closer so y'all can see. I will see y'all when I'm done detangling my hair and have added my processing cap. So I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right, y'all, so the conditioner is in my hair. I'm getting ready to put on my processing cap. But let me tell y'all, I lied when I said I was gonna keep this conditioner in for like 30 minutes to an hour. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. <laughs> it is tingling way too much. So I don't know what's in it, what's working, what it's doing, but I gotta get this out of my hair in the, let me see what. Let me see what the package says. No, it says 30. It says 30 to 60 on the cap. It says 30 to 60 on this package, y'all. I can't. I'm gonna try 30. I'm gonna try 30, but baby, it's tingly. Let me put my cap on. Maybe that'll help. All right, y'all. So. I'm sitting at my desk right now, but I'm also deep conditioning and I've also made my coffee. So gotten that made. I'm it is like 1045 and I'm just having coffee this morning. I love these um, cups, too. These are from the Dollar Tree in case y'all were wondering, but they're so cute. I keep saying cups. I meant mugs. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and work a little bit. And that's about it. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Got a little to-do list for today. My hair is getting done right now. I need to call the dentist. So let me get off the phone with y'all and call the dentist. And I can also be thinking about what type of video I want to post next. So, but yeah, I got to figure that out. And then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So my hair is done. The last time I talked to you guys, I think I still had the deep conditioner on my hair. I went ahead, rinsed that out, and I did some brush curls on my hair. Now, if you guys don't know what brush curls are, click this link right here and check out my latest video. I did share this technique with you guys, and it lasts quite a while. So, I hope you guys click on the video, check it out if you're interested in this hair. And if you're also interested in like a hair coloring video, I have one of those as well. And I will also link it below in the description box. So right now, Babe and I are getting ready to head to our storage unit. We have to get some wrapping paper out of the storage. I also wanted to go by the cleaners because she has some clothes in the cleaners. And I think they close at five and it's like 4.45 right now. So I doubt we'll make that, but we're gonna try. So yeah, let's head to the storage and I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all, we got all the way to the storage and realized that we didn't have the key. <laughs> we have a key on our other key ring, but not one on this one. So we're gonna go back home. I'm not coming back today. We may come back tomorrow or babe may come back. I don't know, but I'm not coming back today. All right, y'all, I'm in the cleaners picking up Babe's stuff. I don't have anything in here today, surprisingly. Babe has about, I think she has a vest and a coat that I'm picking up today. I'll show you guys what I pick up once I get it back. Well, no, you guys have seen it in a thrift haul. So if you watched my last come thrift with me, then you would have seen these items in that haul. Here are the items. So she just has two things. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
all right guys so we stopped at the asian market which is down the street from the cleaners we have been looking for some chili crisp and also some hot sesame oil if you guys like spicy asian type sauces please do yourself a favor and get both of those condiments because they will set any Asian dish off, like noodle bowls, stir fry, um, egg rolls, just any type of Asian food you eat, the crisp and the hot sesame oil. So babe went in there and she's looking for um, the stuff. She's been to like two or three stores and they've been just sold out. Even the one that we always go to that's near our house They've been sold out like for the past couple months. And I'm just like, we stocked up the last time we got out there. We got like maybe six of one and maybe 10 of the other. But this time we really need to stock up because they seem like they don't get this stuff in stock that often. So hopefully she finds some and I'll let you guys see what it is when I get back home because we have like a half a bottle of each left. And that is all. And we are rationing on that for real. All right, y'all. So here's what we picked up. These are the spicy chili crisps that I was telling you guys about. So, so good. If you love Asian food, okay? For real. For real. Get this. Get it. This exact one, okay? Also, hot sesame oil. This is also amazing. You can, like, put this on white rice, y'all. And it's good. Like, so, so good. On vegetables, just on anything. It's really good. This was all they had. The lady told her that these may be back in stock on Saturday. So we're going to check back on Saturday and see if she has more. And if she does, we're going to buy a lot more than this. But just wanted to show you guys what we picked up. All right, guys, so I'm sitting at my desk about to do a little bit of work. While I'm sitting here, I'm going to go ahead and put this soft bonnet on. You guys probably remember me buying it yesterday from the beauty supply store. I got my blow dryer right here. Got my bonnet. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to connect this piece to my hair dryer, and then I'm going to put this bonnet part on. And then they have the strings right here to tighten it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And then I'm going to show you guys what it actually looks like on my head. And I'm going to tell you how it actually feels too. All right, y'all. So here is what I'm looking like. I got the dryer connected. I haven't turned it on yet. I hope it don't like the wind doesn't force it off. That's what I'm hoping doesn't happen. So we shall see. Let's turn it on together and see what it does. Okay. Y'all see that? Turned up a lot higher. I'm put on medium. I'm not gonna go to high. Okay. I'm not mad at this. Let me dry my hair right quick, y'all. All right, guys. My hair is done drying. It looks really, really good too. The curls and coils are popping so i'm getting ready for bed right now so i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye good morning guys it is your girl prissy and it is a new day today is thursday and i've gotten up i've taken a shower i have brushed my teeth um i haven't done my hair or anything like that you guys know i did my brush curls yesterday but i don't know if i feel like like picking my roots out today like i really don't have anything to do i don't know i don't know i may be recording part of a video today so i may pick it out if not i am definitely picking it out tomorrow because my grandson has a christmas concert at his school and i'm going there in the morning so i'll definitely have to do my hair so I know a lot of you have been asking me, like, how do you preserve your curls? What do you do at night? How do you refresh your curls? Because, you know, sometimes I'll tell you guys that my hairstyles last like five to seven days. So it just depends. For me, I normally always sleep in this concoction, which is my bonnet and also a turban underneath. I feel like the turban is what really keeps my hair in place. Like it's kind of like the pineapple method if you have longer hair. And then this is how they look. And then I'll just put some oil on my hands and just like loosen up the curls, you know, 
trust me it comes back okay but yeah i don't know if i'm getting ready to do my hair today so i'm gonna put my bonnet back on y'all all right so we back bonnet is back on what i'm getting ready to do now is go and make me some coffee i haven't had my coffee yet this morning so i'm really craving it it is 803 and i need my coffee <laughs> If you guys watch I Am Zoe, then you'll get that. So, yeah, um, I've already cleaned my closet. Um, I'll show you guys a little pan over of that. And I know, I know I owe you guys a closet tour. I'm going to give you one. Um, I'm going to give you one, okay? I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one. But uh, what else? So, yeah, I cleaned that. And now I'm getting ready to make my coffee this morning. Y'all know we got our new one that my mom bought us. Like I said, we're not gonna use that one until we move, but this one has been doing the job. That one is just a little fancier, so. Oh, and this is my coffee setup. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, but nothing fancy. I just have some cups hanging here, which I rarely use, but I just like the look of having the cups by the coffee station. Then I also have my coffee canister. Got this from Home Goods, and I absolutely love it. And then I have this little glass jar that I thrifted and it just holds my coffee stirring spoons which I got from Amazon now I don't necessarily want my spoons in here but it's all that I have right now so I'm just gonna leave it like this until we move and then I'll do like a whole um, coffee bar type video for you guys if you're interested in seeing something like that and then I just have some Starbucks so let me take it out so yeah I just have some Starbucks caramel flavoring so that is all that I have back here right now. I would love to put other things back here like sugars. I would also like to put like some um, cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg, just some cute little stuff for a coffee bar, but I absolutely don't have the space for it. So yeah, I'm just working with this little nook that I have for right now and it is the perfect coffee setup for just me and babe. So this is what we got going on. Oh, and I have talked so much, y'all. The coffee has brewed. All right, so I think I'm going to drink out of my favorite cups today. These are my absolute favorite coffee mugs that I have at the moment. I just love the whole vibe of them. It goes with just, it's me, okay? This is me. So I'm going to use this cup this morning. I got some creamers in here because I got way too many creamers. But I got some in here that... This one is just okay, so we really haven't been drinking it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink some of it. It's probably about, it's like right there now. So just to get rid of it. And then I also have this cinnamon vanilla cream. It sounds better than it actually is. It really doesn't have, you know, that much flavor to it. So um, it's about right there. So I'm gonna mix these two together for my coffee this morning, so. All right. Just poured our creamer. And if you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know I like to heat this up in the microwave. I like to put it on a minute because um, it gets all warm and kind of bubbly. And normally I'm not the type of person who likes to um, have froth and all that stuff on my coffee. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but my new coffee maker has a frother built in, okay? Like, there's the light. <laughs> I said, let there be light, honey, and it came on. We're gonna be making lattes, we're gonna make an iced coffee, we're gonna make a hot coffee, like we're gonna have the coffee popping once I get this new coffee maker up, okay? See how it has a little, little frothiness about it once you heat it up? All right, y'all, so I'm about to go and enjoy my coffee. I think I'm going to eat a granola bar with it this morning because those have been just really hitting in the mornings. Good morning, guys. I know I'm in fact, I'm pulling some chapstick. Hold on. I love this one. I don't know if you guys use this, but the Vaseline chapstick, amazing. And I got it in like all of the flavors or scents or whatever these are. I got it in all of them because babe just... She just be picking them up for me. I think you can get them right from the Dollar Tree too. So if you guys like, you know, really moisturized lips, get some Vaseline. 
Let me put some on right quick and I'll be right back. Right now I'm in the master bath and I just brush my teeth, wash my face. That's why I felt like I needed to put on some, some chapstick. I'm also getting ready to go and do like a little light beat on my face because I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you my grandson has a Christmas concert today. So I'm up getting dressed for that. I don't know if I should go ahead and start brewing my coffee before I put on my makeup. You know, just so I can have that done, I could be drinking my coffee while I'm doing my makeup, or if I should do it after. I think I'm going to go ahead and brew the coffee now. So, let's brew our coffee and then head into my closet room so we can get dressed for the day. Alright guys, looking a little different from the last time you saw me. I did brew my coffee before I went ahead and got started. Oh, so, I'm drinking that right now. And I'm also doing my makeup. I've put on my foundation, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 355 Coconut. So this is the foundation that I normally use. And then to highlight, I just use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. That's what I have on my face so far. I'm gonna use this setting spray that I got from Marshalls. I am almost out of it, but I know which setting sprays that I wanna go back and get. It's one by Milk, and then it's one by Urban Decay. I'm gonna, that's three. <laughs> it's one by Milk, and then it's one by Urban Decay. I'm gonna go and either order those or get those, cause I think I wanna try those out. I saw that Milk one on TikTok, and it's like, girl, your makeup be frozen on your face, girl. I'm like, what? It ain't budging. It ain't coming out in the mask, girl. So I want to get that out from and test it out for myself. But anyway, let me go ahead, finish my makeup, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, makeup is done. I did a really light beat on my face, like nothing to, you know. Cause I'm going to his school. I'm going to put some lashes on when I come back because I want to film a video. So I'm going to do all that stuff when I get back. But right now I'm just, you know, keeping it real simple. I wish I had an eyebrow, an eyebrow razor so I can um, tweeze this widow's peak. I don't like that, y'all. But anyway, we're getting ready to do our hair. I'm going to show you guys how I refresh my curls. So yeah, I did these curls on Wednesday. And today is Friday, and look how good they're still looking. Now, I didn't pick up my roots or anything. I just styled my hair. So, what I normally do... Matter of fact, let's go to the bathroom real quick. All right, guys. So, we are now in the bathroom, and you guys can see me better, probably hear me better. I went ahead and finished getting dressed, too, because I got, like, 10 minutes, and I got to get out the door because I want to get a good seat so I can see my baby. All right. So, this is what the back looks like, and normally, that's the part that I have to focus on the most because it gets messed up. So, I would normally add some gel to that area and just, you know, either take my sponge and refresh the curls or I would just use my palm and do some like palm coils back there. But because I have on my sweater, I don't want the gel and stuff to get on my sweater. So I'm just gonna, you know, um, finesse it a little bit, okay? I'm not doing that right now. I'll do that when I get back. I just don't, I gotta go, okay? Start with oil and I put some in my hand and just rub it together and then just Put that all over my hair. Now, I don't put oil in my hair every day that I refresh. But the day when I get ready to comb it out on my first comb out after I've styled it, I definitely use some oil to kind of just break up those curls and coils a little bit. And then after that, I just go in with my pick, y'all, and just lift my roots up like I would normally do when I uh, show you guys a tutorial. So... That's all I am doing. I'll also take like my rat tooth comb and comb the shorter areas because sometimes the pick will actually go through the coil and that is definitely not what we want. So I'll just use this to kind of separate the coils on the shorter parts of my hair. <laughs> Backwards, yeah. In my 
mature lover who don't use big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Alright y'all, this is good as the hair is gonna get for now. Like, I'm just going up to the school, okay? And I don't wanna be late. This is it. I'll probably still play with it in the car a little bit, but we finna get ready to go, y'all. So yeah, I think I'm getting ready to go to Walmart and I'll see you guys there. All right, y'all, so I am back from Walmart. When I tell y'all I got out of Walmart so fast, I wasn't even in there five minutes. I went back, looked at the dryers. I picked up a box and because I need a box to pack some stuff in, so I picked up a box. I went to look at the dryers. I didn't get the dryers because, as y'all saw, they were $68 in there. I just, I left. Like, it was too packed. The lines were super long. Even the self-checkout, they were long. So I got in my car and I left. Came home and I've been working a little bit. Now, Babe has gotten home from work and we're about to go to Target because Target actually price matched the hair dryer. So I went on Amazon, I found it for $34.88, called Target up, they walked me through it like on the phone in my cart and everything and boom, they gave it to me for the $34.88. I did the pick up the drive up pickup so i'm just gonna run and pick it up like super super easy so shout out to v for that hack but like i was saying babe is home we're getting ready to run to target get that we're gonna go pick up our grandson and that is about it she said we gotta go by the crab place but i don't know about that y'all because we are going to make like some shrimp she wants some pigtails i want them too ever since she said them like now i want some some eggs we're gonna put some potatoes in there and do like a little seafood boil with that we used to call it a shrimp boil me and babe did because we've been doing this like forever but now on tiktok it's really really popular and they call it a i think an egg boil or something like that but that's pretty much what we're gonna do and I'll make some good butter to go with it. And we're just going to chow down tonight. Anyway, we are headed to Target. And I will see you guys when we get there. I forgot. After Walmart, I did stop at the beauty supply store. I ran in and ran out. I spent a dollar and eight cents. Because before I left, I had already told y'all that this Widow's Peak was getting on my nerves. So, I had to go get an eyebrow razor. And I'm getting ready to shave this off real quick before I leave. It did have a top to it, but it just came off in the bag. So I'm getting ready to just go back, you know, take a little bit of that off cause I don't like that y'all. <laughs> but that's what I'm getting ready to do. And then we're gonna head to Target. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. Stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby. Let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. All right, y'all, we're in rows getting the pigtails. Also, gonna get a couple other things. We picked Kingston up already, and he wanted to say hey. <laughs> he wants to do this little claw thing, y'all. You the one and the more one. So, what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Go he ahead. didn't win. Go. I told him to try to get that Georgia Bulldog teddy bear for my mom, but he didn't get that. All right, y'all, so here's a lot of the smoked meat right here. All right, y'all, I'm looking for the pack press, but all I see is the IGA brand. I really didn't want that brand. I wanted the Pillsbury. They got Morning Fresh Farms. I don't know what that one is either, but if i can't find 
The Pillsbury, I guess I'll just grab this. You should side with me, stay solid one time. If you lie with me, just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know it's all up. Everything good, keep the vibes on crack. Babe was laughing at me because I was like, oh, excuse me, let me get over here. I feel like I got a, some type of sweet tooth tonight, you know. I feel like I want some type of cake or um, ice cream or cheesecake. Oh, I think I'm going to get me some cheesecake. So. I'm glad they got it in the small one so I don't have to get a big pie. They got two slices. I'll eat one tonight and one tomorrow. I got these two. I definitely got a sweet two. I know it's all good. Know it's all love. Know it's all love. I've been feeling like I'm feeling like the man. All right, y'all, we are back at the house. Still didn't stop by the storage, but as you guys saw, we did go to Target. Also went to Rose. Oh my God, so, so okay. Also went to Rose. Um, and then we stopped by Wingstop and got something to eat. So let me show you guys what we ended up getting. So we got two rolls, one for me, one for babe. We got some lemon pepper wings. We got some Cajun corn, but like when they put the season on here, like this was real ignorant. Like, look at that. It shouldn't be like that. Like, that's too much seasoning. Babe said it looked good to her. I, I can't, that's too much salt for me. And then we got the regular, four of the regular original hot wings right there. And then we got the spicy Korean barbecue. Got all flats, well done. Now these don't really look well done, I don't know. But the lemon pepper is definitely well done and they look so good. So we are getting ready to eat dinner and we're gonna call it a night and I will see you guys tomorrow.